Our society has been focusing a whole lot on concussions to try to prevent concussions from happening, try to um, make sure that people are given enough time to recover, adequate return to play protocols, return to school or activities or work. And there's been a huge focus on concussions and that has been terrific. It has helped so many countless people. But one of the things I'm concerned about as someone who looks at neurodegenerative diseases is that the focus on concussions has taken our focus away from the much more common subconcussive trauma. So in football, for example, the routine play of the game that results in people getting their heads hit over and over and over again. And by focusing on concussion, that leads us to think that we can do something. We can change rules, we can change policies, we can fine, we can put new guidelines in place for how to treat people. But it takes us away from the other stuff, the routine way that people's brains get hurt, that we think is what might be more important when it comes to overall risk for CTE. So I'm afraid that there's been this focus on concussions that have been important, but might for one reason or another be done to keep our focus away from the routine play of the game that might increase someone's risk for a later life neurodegenerative disease.